Now that we have the basics of uh, you know, the user interface and some basic customizations, I'd like to talk about navigating in AutoCAD a little bit before we continue. So um, what I have on my viewport is just a basic rectangle and a few other things, just so you can see on the screen what I'm doing. When we're working in CAD, our mouse generally looks like a crosshairs uh, when we're not doing anything. And then if we go into draw or modify something, it changes a little bit. If we want to, for example, zoom in or out on our drawing to see closer or farther away, when our mouse just looks like this, what we can do is actually use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. So with my scroll wheel on my mouse, if I roll it forward, I zoom in, and if I roll it backwards, I zoom out. And the the area in which it zooms in and out will depend where my cursor is. So if I move it over here and scroll in, you'll see that I'm actually zooming over this particular area of the drawing. If I move over here on the right side and, and scroll forward, I'm actually zooming in over on that area. Okay, so that's scrolling in and out. If you don't have a um, a scroll mouse. I would first of all encourage you to get one, but if that's not an option, you have other ways of working, and even if you have a scroll mouse, you might use those too. Our second way of zooming in and out would be over here on our navigation bar. We'll have a few different options. So right in the middle, you'll see that we have a whole variety of zooming. I won't go through each and every one of these, but um, there's a few that you will find very, very useful. So for example, what I can do way down the bottom is say zoom in or zoom out. And if I say zoom in, it will go in a little bit. And I can come in and say zoom out and it'll zoom out a little bit. And you'll see that the little button here, this icon change from a plus to a minus and so on. If I click on that again, I can just keep zooming out. It will repeat the last command. Or I could say zoom in, for example, and I can just keep, keep clicking that in and in and in. I also have some other options in here. For example, oops, I could do um, you know, zoom to window, and I think this is a really handy one. When I say zoom to window, notice that down on the command line here it says zoom, specify first corner. So if I just click in here and then drag to make you know a rectangle box, whatever it might be, around a certain area, it will zoom into that. So I can do that again and say, oh, I want to zoom window right here. And then if I wanted to zoom out, I could say zoom to the extents of the drawing, and I can scroll in and out. So there's many, many different ways to you know, kind of deal with that. Also, if I just type in the letter Z, you'll notice that zoom is the first option. So I can type in the whole word zoom, or I could just type in Z and enter as a shortcut. When I do that, down on the command line, you'll see that I have really those same options there. Zoom all, zoom extend, center, window, and so on. So if I type in a W, that will select window. What you're doing is picking the options in the brackets, and that's a way that you're going to be working with this command line a lot. So within that, we have the blue capital letters. So that's how I pick what's going on. So I will say W enter. So that means I'm going to zoom window. So it's the same command but a different way of getting at it. So once again I'll do Z and I can hit enter or the space bar either way and then I will say ah window enter click and drag and that will zoom in a window. If I do Z and enter and remember it's the enter key or the space bar I have all of those options, so now I could say E for extents, enter, and it zooms me out to the extents of the drawing that I have so far. So definitely play around with the zoom function. So remember to zoom, you either scroll in, forward with your mouse, or back to zoom out. We can go to our navigation bar and pick any of the options in here for zooming. 
And remember, once we've selected one, we can repeat it without having to go into this menu and pick it again. Or we can actually type in Z, Enter, or Zoom, and then pick an option from this menu. And you only have to type in the capital blue letter, and that will do it for you. We can also right click on our drawing area in our viewport and you'll see that zoom is available right here. And when I pick it that way, my cursor changes and now I simply click with my left mouse button and if I drag up, I zoom in. And if I drag down, I zoom out. So it's very similar to the way the scroll bar or scroll button works on your mouse, but this time I'm using my left mouse button. So once again, that was a right click, zoom, and that changes the function of my mouse. So then I can drag up to zoom in or down to zoom out. To get out of that, I just hit enter or escape. And if you don't know that, you'll see that it tells you down in the command line. So always be checking that command line. So there's many different ways to zoom in AutoCAD. Along with zooming, you'll use pan quite a bit. Pan is this little hand right here. So I'm looking at this navigation bar right now. If I click on that, that will turn my cursor to a hand and I simply use my left mouse button and I can pan around. So panning allows me to shuffle up, down, left, and right on my drawing, but I'm not getting any closer or farther away from it. So it's a little bit like having a table and scooting a piece of paper around on it. So that's called panning. I'll just hit enter to get out of that command. I can also right click and pick pan from this menu. That's another way to get to the pan command. Or I can simply push down on the scroll wheel on my mouse. So when I roll it back and forth, I'm zooming in and out. And then when I push it, it turns to pan. And I think that's probably the most common way that you're going to use it. Finally, you can, of course, type everything in in CAD. So if I just start typing, P or pan will get me there. So notice P over here on the right, that's my shortcut. So you can just do P, enter, and that turns it to pan as well. So definitely take some time to play around with panning and zooming and the different ways you can do it and get comfortable with it. And remember to end a command, you simply hit the enter key or the space bar, which would be the same thing, or you can just hit escape up at the top.